These are the 11.3 notes for Algebra 2. We're going to talk about geometric sequences. And remember, a geometric sequence is when you are multiplying to get from one term to the next. So for examples 1, 2, and 3, we're just going to do this by finding what we're multiplying by and then continuing the list. Example number 1, find the fifth term. of the geometric sequence 2, 10, 50. So because I know this is geometric, I can find what I'm jumping from. 2 multiplied by what gives me 10? And then 10 times what is 50? That's a multiplication of 5. If you don't know that by looking at it, you can always do the second term divided by the first term. And that'll get you 5. All right, so we have 2, 10, 50. That's three terms. I need fourth and the fifth term is going to be my answer. So I'm just going to grab my calculator and just keep multiplying by, fit, by 5. So 50 times 5, 250 times 5, 1250. So 250 and 1250. All right, next one. Find the fourth term of the geometric sequence, 6, negative 18, 54. I will do negative 18 divided by 6 to get negative 3. That's what I'm multiplying by. So I have 1, 2, 3. I only need one more term here. I'll multiply 54 by negative 3 and get negative 162. Example 3, looking for the sixth term. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So I'll do 48 divided by 96. That'll either get me 1 half or if you'd rather, 0. 0.5. So it looks like I'm dividing each of these by 2, which is the same as multiplying by half. So multiply by 0. 0.5 or divide by 2 to get 12. Divide by 2 again to get 6 and one more time to get 3. Final answer. Notice how each of those were pretty small terms, the fifth term, the fourth term, the sixth term, so I could pretty easily make a list. When we get down into these bottom ones, if the numbers start to get a little bit bigger here, it's often easier to use the formula. So the formula, that term right there means the first term. Right here is our common ratio. And the n, remember, is the term number. All right, so find the 14th term. That's the term number. That's going to be the letter N of the geometric sequence, 3, negative 9, 27. So 3 is going to be my first term, A sub 1. And then I'll find my common ratio by doing the second term divided by the first term. That gets me negative 3. That's my R. And then you can just plug things into the formula. So a sub 14, meaning the 14th term, is equal to, to positive 3 times negative 3 for the r to the 14 minus 1. And I'm going to use my calculator to type that in. Let me show you how that works. Type just what I see, 3 times parentheses negative 3, close the parenthesis, use the exponent button, which is right under the clear, and then 14 minus 1. It's going to get you a large number. A lot of times geometric sequences do produce large numbers because you're multiplying. Right. Negative 4,782,969. Example 5, this time we're looking for the 18th term, n, and our first term is a sub 1. Let's find our common ratio by doing the second term divided by the first term to get 2. That's my r. So a sub 18 equals negative 1, the first term, multiplied by the r raised to the exponent of n, 18, minus 1. 
We'll type that into the calculator. Negative one times two exponent of 18 minus one. Negative 131,072. Example number six, I've got n is 11, a sub one is six, 30, the second term divided by the first term would get me five for the r. This would be a good time to pause the video, see if you can type that into your calculator and get the answer and then turn the video back to play. All right, hopefully you got a chance to try that. a sub 11 equals six times 5 to the 11 minus 1. 6 times 5 to the 11 minus 1. Just like that. 58,593,750. All right, there you go. Nice job.